Toastmasters, our most welcome guests. Tonight, we have a very special treat for us. We're going to have a member achievement recognition speech. This will be put on by Phil Godon. He is a very experienced Toastmaster in our club and really knows what's going on. And he's going to tell us all about how well our members have achieved tonight. Please join me in welcoming Phil Godot. Thank you very much, Mr. <laughs> Presiding Toastmaster. <laughs> we here in Pembroke and Area Toastmasters Club are a rather tight group, a relatively small club, uh, eight members, in fact. And in spite of the uh, uh, few members, this club is really remarkable in quality. Now, quality is uh, an asset that is not necessarily evident right at first glance. Uh, for example, if you want to buy a quality car, you can't just look at it or kick the tires. You have to get under the hood and uh, even then, you have to get into it, drive it around on a street, on the highway, uh, during the day, during the night, in the snowstorm, in the rain, before you really appreciate the value and, and the quality of the vehicle. Uh, anyway, you get my idea. Uh, to judge the quality of a Toastmasters club, you have to consider uh, look under the hood, so to speak, and consider the, the members and what's going on there. And so let's uh, start by examining some members of the Pembroke and Area Toastmasters Club. First of all, member Colleen Hobbs has been a member for about a year. Her attendance has been steady and she's been bravely taking on a variety of meeting roles. And she chose the pathway motivational strategies, which not only helps build skills as a powerful and effective communicator, but develops strategies for building connections with people around her, understanding motivation and successfully leading small groups to accomplish goals. Simply, this is a path to leadership. And Colleen has completed level one which includes the basics of evaluation and feedback, research and presentation, which she's been applying by delivering educational tips, evaluating speeches, leading table topics, and serving, serving as a general evaluator. Now, Colleen is gearing up to level two projects, which includes uh, leading more table topics to sharpen her listening skills. Uh, congratulations, Colleen. Fran Watson, let's talk about Fran, a distinguished Toastmaster. She's been very active behind the scenes, mainly as a mentor for both new and older members. And during the past year, she has distinguished herself as a teacher delivering numerous educational tips, explaining aspects of the communication leadership programs to new members, refreshing, refreshing the memory of the experienced members and her presentations are usually replete with custom graphics, clear explanations and nearly perfect speaker, I call it a craft. Thanks to Fran, we're all more aware, more knowledgeable of the pathways and more engaged in the, our personal choices. Thank you very much, Fran. Courtney Power has been a member for both three years and has mastered every meeting role in the club. And as president, most of her accomplishments are also behind the scenes. She's developed uh, uh, her executive committee, uh, pardon me, along with her executive committee, she's developed the, the club success plan and uh, she's, had a, she's passed it on to the area director and, and the district. And this alone is a remarkable achievement uh, entailing the coordination of various 
uh, club uh, uh, executive roles and <laughs> even a magic crystal ball to predict the future conditions in such disturbing times. Uh, anybody who has completed this uh, 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 club success plan uh, will join me in attesting the significance of this achievement. Congratulations. Courtney. Ed Nicholson, and judging by the numerous messages in my email box, Ed is the most prolific communicator in this club. Serving as VP education, Ed has devised a table which is shared with the members at the close of every meeting to assign roles for the following meetings. And Ed's messages to us usually include the roles available for the taking and very emphatically the desire to have other people invited to our meetings. For personal development, Ed has completed presentation mastery level four. The projects on this path focus on learning how an audience responds and how to improve the connection with, an, with audience members. In short, they contribute to developing an understanding of effective public speaking technique, including speech writing, speech delivery. Level four of this pathway covers techniques of persuasion, strategies for connecting with the audience and how to make effective visual aids. It entails practice in managing a difficult audience as well as managing online meetings. And this last activity is obvious to us as Ed serves as the Zoom host for our meetings. We have all been enjoying his speeches, several of which have been made available on YouTube. Certainly we can look forward to Ed's next level in this pathway, which entails a keynote speech. That'll be coming up in the new year. And Ed's commitment to personal development is obvious by the fact that he has also completed level three and level four of the pathway engaging humor. The projects of this pathway contribute to developing an understanding of how to effectively use humor in a speech, including challenging situations and impromptu speeches. Level three projects dealt with engaging with humor, inspiring the audience using presentation software. And in level four, Ed had to include humor in an impromptu speech and present public relations strategies for the club and create effective visual aids as well. We've all oohed and awed at the beautiful visual aids that he has used in his presentations. So congratulations to you, Ed. In fact, congratulations to Colleen, Fran, Courtney and Ed. For anybody viewing this presentation, I'm hoping that you find this peak under the hood of the Pembroke and area Toastmasters Club as impressive as I do. But really, to appreciate this club, you really have to visit this Eli Fru and test drive one of the Toastmasters pathways for yourself. Mr. Toastmaster. Thank you, Bill. Thank you very much for that. Okay. That's great. I can probably stop recording at this point and then it'll be short. Okay, good. It'd be easier to deal with. Yep. Fortunately, I'm not sure exactly how to do it now.